Hello beautiful people, it is that time again. It is the moon box time and I am so excited for this one. I haven't snuck a peek, I just took it out of its main box because I found it really challenging to each and every time I unbox it to try and get it out because it was so packed and I thought this is a much more fluid process and so here it is. Is it upside down? No it's not. <laughs> here it is, the moon box. As you can see, it is beautifully packaged as per usual. I love the thought and attention to detail that they put in to their packages. It always comes so lovely. And here is the little letter that comes with it usually and it's got a bit of an inventory list in there as well and it also discusses the theme. So let's check out what this month's theme is all about. July's theme is protection and banishing. And so we can see here, protection magic has been used for thousands of years, whether preparing for battle or safeguarding the soul against energy vampires. We know just how important it is to carry protection with you always. Anywhere we travel, our aura is being bombarded with negativity, deception and intrusion. As we walk the path of purpose, we are confident in knowing that we are protected and more powerful than the energies that attempt to take over. That is beautiful. Okay, let's have a look to see what is in there. So we have the Bassett Book of Shadows artwork, or the Bast. The statue, the Eye of Horus. Oh, we've got an Egyptian theme going on here. Here we go. Protect spell candles, spiritual barrier, magical oil. We come over here to Saturn Sacred Salt, set of five clear quartz crystals. Witch's Salt, that's black salt. Rosemary and white sage bundle. Cedarwood incense. Uh, Thuja twigs, cedar, mm, beautiful, rosemary herb, angelica root and parchment paper. So as per usual they have a very tasty selection of goodies, of magical goodies in their box. So I can't wait to have a little bit of a sneak peek. Okay, looky looky. Ooh, look at that. Beautifully packaged. Have a look. <gasps> oh my gosh. Do you see what I am seeing? Oh. Look at this. I cannot wait to peel into this. Okay, this is the Eye of Horus. This is the talisman or the amulet that has been hand burned into juniper wood. Juniper wood is sacred. This is the Lamas celebration gift to celebrate the beautiful harvest. It's lovely, isn't it beautiful? This is the rosemary and white sage bundle. Here we have July selection of herbs, angelica root, cedar twigs, and rosemary. Here we have the Bast Book of Shadows page, beautifully drawn. They have changed the packaging of their sacred salt and this is what it looks like now. I'm just going to get through all of this beautiful stuff to see what's beneath it. Oh, look at that yummy! Okay, here we have the second layer of it. It's so yummy looking. That second layer just looks so witchy, like so yummy. Now I've got to say, 
Obviously these products, they're super witchy, but there's something about this box and this layer. It's the black paper, it's the black salt, it's the little seed pods that are sort of floating on through there. It's the little dark pouches and, you know, bundled bits and pieces that's making it look very, 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 very So yummy. this unmistakable treasure is, of course, black salt. And isn't this a witchy favorite among many? I'm actually very excited to be holding some black salt in my hand. I am too lazy to make it. It's not hard, I know, but I'm too lazy and I'm too busy actually. Maybe busy is a better word than lazy because the desire to make it is there, the time is not. And so I'm pretty damn excited to put this little bad boy to the test. This is the cedar wood incense and it is it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, look at it. It's dense. Here's the magical oil, I would say. Let's have a look inside. It's very beautifully packaged as you can see. Here is the spiritual barrier oil. Looks tasty. I've got to have a little sniff. It's very fresh. The smell is subtle, but it's very fresh. Quite like we it. We have a gorgeous black velveteen style bag. I love how organic matter just sticks to everything in here. Look, look inside. See, it's just organic matter. These beautiful bits and pieces of nature all scattered through there. Here we have the clear quartz points. They're a very nice size. Clear quartz is actually one of my favourite stones. For those who have seen my reading space, you will know that I'm a huge fan of gridding with clear quartz and that my channeling crystal Isis is a quartz generated crystal and I have record keepers, and I have Lumerian seeds, I have beautiful clear quartz eggs, I have tumbled stones, I have double terminated points, I have scepter, I have all types of it clear quartz, and I really love it. I find it very clarifying, very amplifying. They are piezoelectric, they are great conductors, of energy and they are great transmuters of energy and I think that clear quartz is one of those crystals that should definitely be in your arsenal of crystals you know we all have our favorite stones yes but I think the great all-rounder is in fact the clear quartz crystal and so having quite a bit of it in my life is very important to me so I do, I make a point of getting lots and lots of clear quartz. Just like I have lots and lots of amethyst, I too have lots and lots of clear quartz. And so more clear quartz in my collection just makes me really happy. <laughs> okay, so this appears to be the candle and their candles are made of beautiful beeswax and they are nicely wrapped and they usually come with a spell or an incantation wrapped around oh it. Oh my god, look at this bad boy. It is putting off some gorgeous energy and the smell of this candle is heaven. It is heaven. Oh my god, look at it. It looks so boss. Okay, this is the final item. So it must be the statue. Let's have a look. Well, would you look at this? This statue is just so beautiful. I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful this is. And there you have it. That is the moon box for July. The protection and banishment moon box. And I've got to say, this one had a little something extra to it. I think it had a little extra witchy vibe to it due to the nature of the objects that were placed thoughtfully therein, I am going to have so much fun with the items in this box. You can expect to see 
lots of photos and upcoming videos of incorporating these particular items into my practice because they are just items that I will use most often mostly because of their vibe so I use all of my moon box items I burn their candles I use their oils I work with their little gifts and I've got to say that this one so far is probably my favorite one just because of the black salt the black candle the clear quartz the spirit banishing the um, pyrographied beautiful talisman like there was some thought attention to detail and artistry put into this one Okay, there you have it, the July Moon Box. If you are interested in purchasing this Moon Box or you want to know a little bit more information about it or you're interested in future boxes, then I will have the links to the Moon Box shop in the description bar below. The Moon Box is located in America and I am located in Australia, so I always list the national and international rates and the national rates are American, the international rates are everywhere else. So if you are international, then make sure to click on the international link. If you are national, then click on the national link speaks for itself really guys <laughs> so thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought of this particular moon box especially if you've actually received one if you have this exact moon box how good is it oh my gosh i really look forward to seeing some people's uh photos and their unboxings of this, of this particular moon box i'm getting all tongue-tied and um and seeing what people get up to with the goodies so much love many blessings bye